Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Santero. Hope everyone is well. One of those days again. It's okay. I'm pulling through it. Still not making decisions though. So, we're down to the final four. Let's see whose reading we're going to do next. Oh. Leo, looks like you're up. Right on. This reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of July. I know. It's pretty late in July for a July reading, but some of it may have already resonated. Some of it may be resonating right now. Some of it may be about to resonate. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. If you think you may want something that might resonate a little bit better, check in when rising your Venus side readings. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It may even play out from the perspective of the cross watcher, and you guys are welcome here too. Come on in and have a seat. And if I forget to say it at the end, thanks for coming by to visit today. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July. The message, come as they come. They come as they come. And sometimes they come when you need them the most. me. Leo, why are you here? Stars in the reverse. Could be a healing process that hasn't taken place yet for you. Could be disconnecting from an Aquarius. Struggling on a spiritual level, perhaps. Disconnect from a soulmate. Hmm. Okay. Communication's not going so good, possibly. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with, Leo? The moon in reverse. Some shady things that are being illuminated. Secrets coming out, possibly. We'll get a clarifier on it in a second. What do you think of them? Lovers, there's definitely connection. You, you acknowledge that it is there. You believe they acknowledge that it is there. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. So, so far we have Aquarius, Pisces, or Gemini. I'm sorry, I cannot get comfortable right now. <laughs> it's hard to keep your feet up when you're sitting in a chair. Hmm. What do you want from them? Nine of Wands. Leo, perhaps you want to give it one last go. Okay. Hmm. It's coming together for me now. How do they feel about you? Knight of Pentacles. The potential is there. It's slow moving. Could be abundant, could be stable, but it's slow moving. 
But there's potential. What do they think of you? The Four of Cops. Perhaps they think that you spend a lot of time concentrating on the negative aspects from the past and don't look toward the future or don't look at what is being handed to you. I don't think you straight up I don't think they think that you straight up ignore it. You just don't see it. You're tunnel visioned on the coulda, woulda, shoulda. What do they want from you? The world in reverse. Oh wow, oh wow. Leo. You guys might be on the same page a little bit here. Seems like the person you're dealing with might want to return, might not want a cycle to end. What's the obstacle here? King of Wands. Let me tell you something about the King of Wands. And I'm not talking a little some some sugar and spice and everything nice. I'm not going there with that. He is a confrontational... I didn't say it. I came close, but I didn't say it. He's very combative. Very argumentative. Very much control freak. It's his way of the highway. If you don't like it, that's where you can shove that wand. Exactly. Yeah, that's him. There's combative energy here. Somebody always has to be in control. Possibly you're fighting for control. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Possibly. What can be done? Five of Swords reversed. Weapons down. Hmm. Clarity. Can I get some clarity for my Leo friends, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? For the month of the month of July, twenty twenty. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. One more. Why the moon reversed? Why this? How you feel about them? So things are being illuminated, secrets are coming to light. There is indeed a forest behind them, their trees. You possibly someone's emotionally closed off. Could be you, could be them. 
there's certain aspects of this connection that leave you devoid of all emotion. Maybe you're just spent, possibly a little exhausted from this healing process that you're still struggling with, maybe, maybe. Why the lovers? Why this? Thank you. Page of Swords. Honest person, good communicator. One more. I said one, but I'll take three. Seven of Cups reverse, Six of Cups upright. The moon again. The moon is in the upright this time. It's a strong connection, but it's confusing. This, this might be someone you've played with before. Maybe in this life, maybe in the last one. There's still an air of mystery. Why the moon? Why the moon? Queen of Swords. <laughs> She's funny. She's got an attitude problem sometimes, but she's funny. You may have cut each other out of each other's lives before. And I think you may be playing with someone that wouldn't hesitate to cut you out again. I mean, that could be where they may be devoid of all emotion. But yet... They don't want the cycle to end. This is confusing energy, Leo. I don't know who you're dealing with. This is very confusing. Why the Nine of Wands? Why the Nine of Wands? Gave me three. Three of Pentacles reversed. King of Swords upright. Five of Swords reversed. That's a game changer. This splits the story a little bit. Some of you may want one last push. Some of you may want to just leave the pieces on the ground and not, not try to lay the stable foundation down and just walk away and make a logical decision. And I got one more. On this Nine of Wands, please. Five of Cups. One last push to get through the sadness. There's still two full cups here. I mean, three of them are spilled all over hell, but there's still two full cups. There's still something there. There's pieces to pick up. There's things left behind. Hmm. 
There may be a cup of self-love and a cup of self-worth for some of my Leo friends. It's a blessing in it after you've had your cups kicked over, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Nine of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles come out. One last push to find your self-worth. Right on. Maybe they feel like you're the catch. Think I don't know. Maybe you feel like they're the catch. They're the one you want. Okay. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Tower reverse, sun reverse. Slow moving energy. The towers. I don't know, the dust is settling. Someone's not acknowledging the connection. It's there. It's that merry go round energy again, Leo. You hopping back on the merry go round with somebody? You doing that again? I think I think we've talked about the merry-go-round before, Leo. <laughs> Sounds like a very familiar conversation. Hanging man in reverse. They're still hung up on you. Or maybe they feel like you're still hung up on them. Check it out if it resonates. It's the merry-go-round, around, around, around we go again. Why is four cups here? just in reverse. They may think you're slight mani slightly manipulative. Possibly. Or they feel like you're easily manipulated. Again, take it however it resonates. Page of Wands. You still carry the torch for them or they still carry the torch for you? And the merry around, around, and round we go again. Y'all carrying the torch for each other, but you can't see it. Ace of Pentacles reversed came out. Y'all may have taken that, so, you know, one or the other, put somebody out on the back porch for a while, maybe. You know those back porch conversations we have? That house plant that just doesn't want to do anything in the house. Doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do. Doesn't want to grow. Put it out on the back deck for a while, see what it does. I think those just came out by accident. Why is the world here? Wheel of Fortune reversed. On top of a world reversed. They don't want this to end. They don't want to close this out. No. They want to return. They don't want the story to be over. They're not ready to end this chapter yet. And around and round and the mirror go round we go again. One more. One more for my Leo friends, please. One more. One more. Six swords reversed. I am not beating this dead horse anymore. Another card of return.
What's the obstacle? King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Why this? Nine of Cups in the reverse flies out. Someone you're kicking each other's cups over. There's confrontation. Someone may be filling their cups with the wrong things. Someone may be overindulging in a few things they shouldn't be indulging in. And that's a long list of crap. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. Somebody could have a food addiction. Someone have a shopping addiction. Someone could have a gaming addiction. There's a long list of the incorrect things to fill your cups with, my friends. It's anything other than love, be it self-love or love for each other. You're not where you should be on the happiness scale. Let's put it that way. One more. Knight of Cups. Got the Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Knight of Wands might be a little bit of a player. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Likes to play the field. Pardon, pardon the expression. Wave his wand around. This guy. <laughs> but as non-committal as they get. He'll give a cup to anybody. He'll take a cup from anybody. Somebody may not want to commit. Bottom line, bottom line, you're not ready, you're not ready. Can I go one more? One more. Two of cups. Came out sideways. You know what happens when they come out sideways? You read one of two ways. Soulmates. What the hell was that? <laughs> Pardon my French. Somebody beating on something over there. We read one of two ways. Okay? Soulmates come into our lives. They don't always necessarily stay. They come in for their purpose, they leave. Disconnected soulmates, where one isn't feeling the connection as strong as the other. We'll just lay it sideways. Why the Five of Swords reversed for what can be done? Eight of Wands. Lay your weapons down and talk. One more. High Priestess, use your intuition. That's not your heart. It's not your head. It's your gut. Your intuition does not speak in words. Nope. Nope. It doesn't pull on heartstrings. It's not the little voice in your head. Some people call it the butterflies in the stomach. Some people call that gentle tug. I may have been behind the wheel, but I was not the one driving. It's that. 
through your intuition. It will speak to you in whatever manner it chooses. And you will know what to do when the time comes. You are very connected to this person. Obviously. I mean, round and round and round in the merry-go-round we go again. And you're not getting along on any level at this point, 3D or 5D. One more. I think we're going to call it a night. Well, at least call it a night for you guys. I might do one more. Star reversed. I hate it when that happens. It may be time for that healing process that hasn't taken place yet to finally start. And I think it's going to start with a good old fresh and conversation. Get your advice. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Swords. Don't make any decisions based on emotion or personal gain. I don't know who that's resonating with, but it's a message for somebody. Nine of Swords reversed and the Queen of Pentacles. There's nothing to worry your pretty little head about, dear, because damn it, you're a catch. And you darn well know it. And so do they. You worry too much. Don't. The Queen of Swords in the upright, in the Ten of Swords, in the upright. We got the King and the Queen of Swords here. No? No? The sun will shine again. The worst of this is over. But you need to be honest with yourself and maintain a positive attitude through the remainder of whatever this is. Okay? Okay. The Ten of Wands and the Four of Wands. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. This talks about... Just kind of laying it at the feet of the universe. And releasing that burden. Letting somebody else take the wheel, so to speak. I mean, by all means, don't get out of the driver's seat, but... And I don't literally mean if you're sitting behind the wheel of a car, don't steer. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta pull over and let somebody else do the driving. Know what I'm saying? Sit down, fire sign. I told Sagittarius to do it, so I have to be fair and tell you guys to do it too. Divine connections. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ace of Wands in the upright. I'm going to leave your advice right there. That is beautiful. And right now I'm going to tell you why. Don't be so darn impatient. Don't jump the gun. 
This requires patience. Don't go striking that new match yet because I think there's still a fire going on here. Okay? All right, my friends. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you. I love you guys. Apologize again for the delay, but the messages come through when people need them the most. And that's what happens when I let the cards make the decisions. Okay. I love you. Take care. Catch you in about a week or so for your August reading.